What is up YouTube, it's your boy Kaiser with another episode of Kaiser's Picks. Uh, on today's episode, we're going back to the 80s. We did a 1980s uh, Kaiser's Pick theme episode a few months ago. We're revisiting it for 1980s part two. Let's get into it, boom. When I say 1980s, what do you think of? Uh, trickle down economics. Trickle down economics. Well, I, and like most normal people, think of Star Wars. Um, and this is really cool and really expensive. We got another expensive item. We got a Han Solo, which is also no, otherwise known as Marvin Smith Jr. His signature is extremely rare and hard to get. Last time I heard he's charging like $1,000 a signature. I think it might've even gone up since then. Uh, his signature is very rare, very expensive. And he ruled the 80s. Like, look at this. I know he's dressed up in like Star Wars attire. I actually feel like this attire is pretty like normal for like people now, whereas my fashion sense is terrible. Like, is this like a normal outfit minus the boots? Anyways, Harrison Ford autographs, very expensive. Star Wars obviously ruled the 80s. Star Wars is still ruling everything. And this is a really clean and iconic picture of Han Solo. Do I look like him, Jordan? Chad, come here. When were you born? <laughs> when were you born? Are you an 80? Are you an 80s kid? He's like a 40s kid. Anyway, speaking of 80s, check this out. We got Dan Marino and John Elway on the same card, both signed. Nine out of 15. You see that? You see the back? Boom. You got two of the greatest 80s quarterbacks of all time. 80s approved. All right. This was kind of weird that I found this in the jersey section. I'm assuming she was looking for Dennis Rodman, but we got Madonna signed photo encapsulated by PSA. Uh, Madonna autographs, clearly 80s. She ruled the 80s. Her signature is very expensive. I know she's still alive, she's still kicking, doing her thing, but her signatures are kind of rare. This is a pretty pricey item, I'm not gonna lie. If you're into Madonna, I actually run a Madonna fan page. It's called Madonna Ooh La La. Uh, I just post daily inspirational quotes from Madonna. Remember that time we went and looked at all those records? There's a ton of good records from the 80s. Let's go find some. Okay, in the record section, we found a banger. This has gotta be expensive, right? This is signed by David Bowie. He kind of looks like Tilda Swinton, the girl from, um, She's in, uh, um, um, what is she? Um, um, <sighs> now I seriously can't think of it. Um, what the, Dr. Strange. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. LOA on the back, full JSA letter. Uh, they got the picture of it. It's kind of cool. I like the letters. <laughs> it's Rush. One of the greatest rock bands of all time. And it's signed by Getty Lee. Arguably one of the greatest rock bass players of all time. I wish Neil Peart was on here because he's the greatest drummer of all time. Rush is just such a cool band. If you haven't listened to Rush, if you're some 17 year old kid, 19 year old kid, 25 year old kids probably don't know who it is. If you haven't listened to Rush, check them out. They were so far ahead of the time and so different than any other band to ever play. Just real music, like just all about the music, not about writing hooks and lyrics, even though I did do that. It was just about the music. We got the record on the side. Simon Getty Lee, 80s approved, 100%. Rush is 100% 80s, maybe 70s too, actually. Yeah, a little bit of both, but they're in the 80s there. They're in the 80s, John. Hey, 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 can you cue, can you uh, cue the graphics for first first ever appearance on Kaiser's Picks? <laughs> that was good. Did I just have a good impression? Rate it on a scale of one to ten. Seven for the voice imitation. Okay, I thought the voice was a little higher than a seven. Give me give me a nine. Okay, I'll stay with an eight. Anyways, boom, Michael Jackson. Yo, on the last 1980s Kaiser's Picks at the giveaway ladder, we gave away Joe Theismann jersey. We're gonna keep the theme alive and give away a Joe Theismann mini helmet inscribed MVP 83, so you know he played in the 80s. Uh, this is really cool. This is a really good looking helmet. Really good signature. Joe Theismann, one of the greatest quarterbacks of the 80s. So all you gotta do to enter to win is let us know. I don't know, what am I, what's the question here? All right, all you gotta do to enter this in the comments, put down what the 80s reminds you of. What do you think of when I say the 1980s, what's the first thing in your head? Let us know, we'll pick a random comment and you win this Joe Thiesen mini helmet. Boom. All right, this is definitely 80s. And this is this is like low key one of my favorite movies. It used to scare the crap of me as a kid. Honestly, it kind of still scares me now. But we got E.T., uh, the extraterrestrial, signed by Matthew Demerit, who is the puppeteer of E.T. 
Uh, I didn't know this, but Matthew Demerit actually doesn't have legs. He actually has a pretty cool story. You should check it out. He does a lot of things. He actually like skateboards and stuff too. Uh, but yeah, he was the puppeteer for E.T. And this is definitely 80s approved. And I'm not gonna lie, this movie's so dang good. Phone home. Here's, here's our five fun facts about E.T. that you probably didn't know. E.T., he was an alien. He's not from this world. Fact number two, he really liked Reese's Pieces. Fact number three, he actually can pull off a girl's wig pretty well. Fact number four, he, he once got so sick he completely turned white, but he survived. Fun fact number five for E.T., he actually ran for government in Minnesota. So he didn't get it though. <laughs> E.T., 80s approved. All right, well, we're gonna move from one really good 80s movie to the next. This is, this is such a good movie, but it's from The Princess Bride, and it is probably one of the best characters it's a really good character in the movie, but it's Miracle Max, <laughs> signed by Billy Crystal. This is an awesome movie. Jordan has never seen this movie. I don't understand how that's possible. It is one of the best films ever made in the world. Anyways, that's Billy Crystal. That's 80s approved. Here's Kaiser. <laughs> that was so cheesy. That was bad. <laughs> Shelley Duvall from The Shining. What an iconic scene. And what a good signature on that too, with the little heart. Like she, why did she put a heart? This is like such a, violent and scary scene. She's put a little heart. Anyways, this is pretty sweet. You can see the ax coming through. One of the most iconic movie scenes of all time. That's that's fair. When he when he puts his, or his face through the door and yells, here's Johnny, right? One of the greatest horror scenes of all time. I'm gonna go with that. Anyways, and it's from the 80s. 80s approved, Shelley Duvall. Bam. Okay, this is really cool. Really excited about this. I've never, I've never ever seen this at Pristine ever. These are a pair of shoes signed by three members of a very, very iconic group. We got Run DMC signed shoes. Jam Master J, that's a nice signature actually. Good stuff. DMC, is it 2001, is that what he says? And then this isn't, this isn't the greatest signature, but Rev Run. Rev Run, Rev Run, Rev Run. <laughs> this is so cool. And this is 100% 80s approved. One of the greatest rap groups of all time. Such a fun band, like, right? When you, when you think of Run DMC, don't you just get like happy? Walk this way, talk this way, walk this way. That's when, remember when they teamed up with the Aerosmith? Jordan, can, can you answer me? Anyways, Run DMC, 100%, 80s approved. When you think of the 80s, one of the names that 100% stands out is Bruce Springsteen, am I right? This is Bruce Springsteen's book called Born to Run. Even though he's sitting on a car, it looks like he's born about born to drive, he's sitting on a car. But he wrote this book for uh, very young children right when they're learning to walk. And it's basically just to help, to help them learn um, how to just use the motor functions of their legs and how to just get better motor skills so that they can start running quicker. There it is, boom, Bruce Springsteen. Listen, for you viewers, I'm gonna open up the Springsteen book for you viewers. Whatever my finger lands on and I read it, this is about your life. Tell me to stop, Jordan. Okay, boom, right here. The power room lay only a few feet behind the drum riser. Wow. Wow, those are words to live by. This is 100% 80s and 100% the most expensive item we have ever had on the show. This is it. We've never, we've never shown something more valuable than this. We actually went upstairs to go to the safe to get this bad boy out. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. This is the holy grail of basketball cards. This is a 86, 87 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie, and it's graded a 9.5 by Beckett. The fact that I'm holding this card now is absolutely insane. Uh, this card is valued at like 100, 160 grand. This is like a house that I'm holding in my hand. This is 100% 80s approved and 100% the most expensive item we've ever had on here. I just, it's kind of crazy that I'm holding this. You know what I mean? Anyways, 86, 87 Fleer, 100% 80s approved and 100% really freaking expensive. 